In 2013, Insomniac followed and filmed a group of hand-selected individuals during their time at Electric Daisy Carnival Las Vegas. The goal was to capture the experience of the event through the eyes of these characters, and in doing so, document exactly why this festival is so special to hundreds of thousands of people around the world. The resulting documentary, Under the Electric Sky, was released in May of 2014. A year after filming and just weeks after the film's release, we gathered the cast of Under the Electric Sky for an impromptu reunion backstage at Electric Daisy Carnival 2014. Here, Sadie, Jose, Matt, Allie, Jim, Jenna, and the Ray family discussed how being in the movie changed their lives and what it was like returning to the event a year later. This is what they had to say. Thing. It was just like too much adrenaline. I was just yeah, like, was. Whoa, was and like, didn't remember That's anything. Yeah. Right after the movie, um, after the movie ended and the lights came on, Allie and I stood up, and the whole, the we whole place get out of our seats. was cheering, <laughs> yeah. and we got bum rushed. We were like on the side of, <laughs> they wouldn't like let us out, and the whole aisle just stopped and were like, can we take a picture with you? Can we trade candy with you? And we're like, yeah. Can we just go out can before, get out? Uh, <laughs> before the fire marshal comes and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it tells us we have to leave, so we went out and we probably traded candy and took pictures for about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Because the second time I saw it, I was like, oh, I don't remember that being in this. Yeah. And yeah. then it was like, oh wait, it was. But yeah, we missed like half, missed half, like half the half scenes and we didn't even so we saw it again. We thought we, they changed it, the edited stuff, because really? we missed so many things the first time. <laughs> My parents want to see it. They're like, we want to see our little rave girl. <laughs> <laughs> So I sat them all down and I showed them the, I showed them the uh, what is it, the trailer. And I hit play and I like watched all of them and they were just like, uh. <laughs> like what was that? I come from a very conservative background. I was raised Mormon. And so I kind of had to, I watched the movie at Sundance and I watched what they were going to see and I thought about telling my family because I hadn't told them that I was going to be in the movie. and. So I sat them down and I said, you know, there's this movie and I'm a part of it and you know, it's really a really big part of my life and I would like you guys to be able to see it. It's rated PG-13 so you can go see it. <laughs> um, but be forewarned, you may see my entire backside naked. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so if you don't want to see that, just look away at this street, you know, part. And uh, so my, my family was forewarned and uh, they came away from it and I was so impressed by, they just said, you know what? It was so well done, it was so positive. We're so happy that you got to be a part of that. <laughs> but they were just like really positive and, and I was not expecting that. So I guess that's also a way of like me saying that, you know, I preconceived and judged them for how they would, you know, see what the movie was about and, and how they would take it. And they were nothing but positive. And the slow walk down the aisle. That was my favorite. Yeah, my I did too. Me too, actually. <laughs> went with it. Mine was um, the interview after Sadie pressed the button where she could barely talk. Yes. I, yeah. I cried at that one. I've seen it three times. I cried all three times. Yeah, and definitely Sadie's reaction when she walks on stage because that was it was so genuine. It was so caught in the moment. Oh. There's no way that you could ever have faked any of that emotion. It was just there yeah. coming out of you. Aww. And it was beautiful. Yeah. And I yeah. moved yeah. to tears every Aww. time. Oh, good. <laughs> with your, your walk away scene with the yeah. crying. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Then you were in your like sensory like <laughs> overload chamber and they were like, good. That was like good. do you like, bang in right? here and you're like <laughs> oh yeah do I my <laughs> favorite uh, part of the movie has to be like when he's lifted above the crowd yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and yeah. then like starts telling his story about how for once in years this was his first time being above the crowd and just that just brought me to tears and then not only that but after at the after party I looked out yeah. into the yeah. crowd, and there he is, <laughs> up the there again. And I'm yeah. like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and it's just like, yes! It's cool to have, like, those scenes is like a little bit embarrassing as it is to see myself like sobbing on screen. It's yeah. nice when we saw it to remember that, mm -hmm. and like, to like, helps us appreciate how much better it is to be together in the same place now. Because we can see like a visual reminder of how terrible it was to have to say goodbye every time. I don't know, that whole experience getting to do that with Above and Beyond, you know, like I never thought that I would be at that moment where I was, you know, a year before. 
you'd never expect that. And being in a in a place where a lot of bad things were going on and <laughs> stuff like that, it's it's weird getting to see you managing to go from like your lowest low to like your highest high. And I don't know, it's, it's, I mean, I cry every time I watch it. And Pavo just came up to me and he hugged me so tight and like kissed me on the cheek. And he came up and hugged me and was holding me and wanted to dance with me and stuff. And I got to talk to them for a little while afterwards and it was just like, it was so hard to get words out. And I didn't think of like autograph, give them candy or anything. I was so overwhelmed. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. I have people hitting me up on Instagram like, dude, your scene's like so much emotion. Like you've inspired me to like carry on forward. Like. Regardless of your situation or what you're going through, like, it's crazy because I have people hitting me up from Indonesia, South America, El Salvador, Mexico, East Coast, West Coast, all over the places. And it's, did I know I was going to have an effect on this person over just doing something so simple? But it, it's, it's been great. I love it. Like, coming to these events, like, I've started since 2010. And no matter what, there's always people that come up to me like, dude, Keep on, keep pushing, keep doing you, and I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> I'm honestly getting emotional right now because for me, it's it's a blessing. It's a true blessing just to be in front of everybody, you know, see everybody's faces again, and the love, the family, the positive feedback. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Another year together is another year closer, I think. Yeah, very much like a family, you know. Yeah. We have our ups and our downs, you know. We definitely, I think, you know, some of us, we live kind of a little distance away. We don't all live together in the same town. And so, you know, there's a little bit of separation that way. And I think that sometimes that's difficult for us. But um, just like every family, you know, we we ebb and we flow, but we're still family. We're still connected and we still love each other. So well, it's always going to be that together. way. Yeah. yeah. We get to see each other actually like at, at the least once a month, so we get to all rave together once a month. Yeah. It's really cool. Okay. Does that bring you closer together? Yeah. We all freak out and hug month. each other mm -hmm. when we get there. And, yeah, we're moving in together in about two weeks. Yeah. In the same yeah. city? The same city? Yeah. Um, we're amazing. both in New York City now. Yeah. Fantastic. So you're, you've left Japan? Done. Okay. No more Asia. Okay. Out. Okay. Got it out of my system. Back in New York now. That's yeah. Exciting. It's really exciting, yeah. Okay. For me personally, like, I've always wanted to do something involved with the EDM scene, and I was always like, I don't know if I can or not, and like, this kind of gave me the fuel that I needed to like, push towards it as 100% as much as I can. Well, actually this week I just kicked, went to EDM Biz Conference and I was uh, just sitting there learning about the whole business side of it, like agents, all kinds of stuff. Like, how can I say it? Trying to push my wheel through the door. <laughs> 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 Trying to push my wheel through the door and, you know, make my way in and see what I can do. Um, from now on, like, I'm just doing what I can to save my money, get my own equipment and just, put my emotion, put my thought, put everything that this culture has given me, all this life it's given me, put it on on a damn computer and just <laughs> push it back out, you know? I honestly felt like I was dreaming. I, it felt so surreal. There's a lot of people out there that love this culture and for me to see it on film and being pushed out there, that's that's it for me.